Today I'd like to talk about the treatment of meniscus tears, which is arthroscopic keyhole surgery. The meniscus is a rubber C-shaped shock absorbing disc that wedges into the knee that protects it and it basically acts as a cushion and you've got two on each side. It's a very common sports knee injury that we see where one little turn, one little twist and you can get a tear in the meniscus. Now the meniscus itself hasn't got a nerve supply, so it's not the tear that hurts, but it's when you catch the tear, that's when it hurts mostly on pivoting movements, and it can happen with any type of movement. Unfortunately, even though the meniscus doesn't have a nerve supply, it also doesn't have a blood supply either. So we find that once you've torn your meniscus, that's it, it tends to stay torn and it very rarely heals. If it causes you persisting symptoms, majority of the time physiotherapy can make it better, but I find in a lot of sports people, they do end up going down the route of arthroscopic keyhole surgery. We pop a camera into the knee, have a look at where the tear is, and we trim it down and make it nice and smooth again, so it doesn't catch anymore. Again, patients are up and about straight away. We try not to even get you to use crutches, and you're back home the same day. It is a general anesthetic, and there are risks involved, as with every surgery, but they're very rare, and we find that patients are back to pretty much most of their activities within a few weeks again. Very rarely, we do get a surprise in the knee where we see that the meniscus tear is a lot bigger than we actually expected from the scans, in which case we might not actually want to cut it out, we might actually want to repair it. Again, we've got pencil thin instruments that we can repair and suture the meniscus back together, but the meniscus is a very delicate piece of tissue, so we'd have to protect that repair. Only if the tear is much bigger than expected would you need a knee brace, but we're pleased to say that the majority of patients don't. We'd probably say maybe about 1 in 50 patients, we get a little surprise while we're in there, but we're ready to go with everything, all the equipment is ready, and there's no surprise when we're in there. After that, once the dust is settled and the meniscus is back to being healed up again, we try and get you back to your activities at a pace level. But the important thing is a lot of rehabilitation with the physiotherapy team. Again, we get you started with non-impact activities that build up the quadriceps muscle, such as static bike exercises, rowing machine, and swimming. Once the knee is conditioned and it's a lot stronger, we try and get you back to higher level impact activities again. So in summary, meniscal tears are very common. They can cause a lot of problems, but it's a very straightforward solution in terms of minimally invasive keyhole surgery.